Four-year-old Lucas, rescued from a devastating house fire by a courageous firefighter, uttered two unsettling words that reverberated through the chaos, Bad Daddy. As the flames were brought under control, the attention swiftly shifted from the inferno to Lucas's troubling words, sending a shiver down the spines of those present. An officer, sensing an ominous undercurrent, took it upon himself to delve deeper into the matter. Stepping into the charred remains of the house, he was immediately greeted by an eerie sensation. The dimly lit hallway seemed to whisper secrets of tragedy, prompting the officer to call for backup without hesitation. Officer James found himself standing amidst the haunting aftermath of the fire, pondering the significance of Lucas's cryptic words. Could they be more than just the ramblings of a traumatized child? As he navigated through the scorched debris, a sinking feeling settled in his gut. The urgency in his colleague's voice over the radio sent a chill down Officer James's spine. Little Lucas's frantic screams pierced through the static, sending alarm bells ringing in his mind. Should he stay and unravel the mysteries lurking within the house or rush to aid the distressed child? Despite the inner turmoil, Officer James pressed on, drawn to a room that bore the remnants of what once might have been Lucas's sanctuary. Picking up a melted toy truck, the warmth lingering on its surface only added to the surreal atmosphere. Outside, Lucas's cries echoed through the neighborhood, intensifying Officer James's resolve. Peering out the window, he witnessed the heart-wrenching sight of Lucas struggling against the grip of an officer, his distress palpable even from afar. Driven by a relentless pursuit of truth, Officer James continued his search, convinced that the answers lay hidden amidst the ashes. With backup at his side, they combed through every inch of the house, determined to uncover the events that had led to such devastation. As they pieced together fragments of the puzzle, questions lingered. Why had Lucas screamed, Bad Daddy? and what had sparked the deadly blaze. With Lucas's father missing and his mother unreachable, the truth remained elusive, casting a shadow of uncertainty over the tragic scene. Inside the house, Officer Tom stumbled upon a crucial discovery, a spot untouched by the ravaging flames. Recognizing its potential significance, Officer James swiftly ordered it to be preserved and sent to forensics for immediate analysis. As he observed Lucas's reaction to the discovery from the window, a sense of unease settled over him. This case was unfolding unlike any he had encountered before. Meanwhile, news of Lucas's mother's arrival prompted Officer James to step outside and question her. As she embraced Lucas, the boy repeated his earlier words, Bad Daddy, startling his mother. Introducing himself, Officer James delved into inquiries about the house and her husband's whereabouts. Despite her confident assertion that her husband was at work, Officer James detected a tremor in her voice. Aware of their failed attempts to reach her husband, Officer James pressed further, eliciting a pale response from Lucas's mother. She struggled to comprehend the situation, murmuring disbelief as she grappled with the reality unfolding before her. Amidst the wreckage of their burnt home, Lucas's mother maintained her husband's innocence fervently. Despite Officer James's gentle probing, she remained resolute in her defense, insisting that her husband was incapable of such wrongdoing. Recognizing her unwavering conviction, Officer James redirected his focus to the forensic team, urging them to meticulously investigate every detail surrounding the fire's origin and rapid spread. In the days that followed, he anxiously awaited the forensic results, knowing they held the key to unraveling the mystery behind the tragic events. When Officer James revisited the burned house, meticulously examining every corner for overlooked clues, the weight of anticipation hung heavy in the air. Each passing moment brought him closer to uncovering the truth, and with each hour that passed, the urgency to bring closure to the unsettling case intensified. While Officer James anxiously waited for the pieces of the puzzle to come together, his determination to understand the tragic event only intensified. Organizing his team with unwavering resolve, he orchestrated an extensive search to locate Lucas's father. Patrol cars were swiftly deployed, alerts issued, and the local community engaged in the effort. It became a race against time as officers combed through potential areas across the city. However, despite their relentless pursuit, each lead seemed to evaporate, leaving Officer James frustrated and disheartened. Late nights were spent poring over reports and conducting interviews with relatives, friends, and colleagues of Lucas's father, yet no substantial clues emerged. The search for Lucas's 
Father consumed Officer James, with the community's concern mounting with each passing day. As the days stretched on without any breakthroughs, Officer James's restlessness grew, compounded by the lack of concrete evidence and the father's continued absence. The silence from the forensic team only deepened the sense of foreboding and uncertainty pervading the police station, haunting Officer James as he grappled with the unsettling suspicion that they were facing something more sinister than a simple accident. His instincts, honed by years on the force, warned him of a lurking darkness beneath the surface of the investigation, fueling his determination to uncover the truth. Tension mounted in the station as days passed, with Officer James and his team working tirelessly to sift through evidence, revisit the scene, and interview witnesses again. In a room filled with children's drawings and toys, Officer James knelt beside Lucas, gently probing for information about the day of the incident. Lucas, clutching a stuffed bear, looked up with uncertain eyes, his innocence starkly contrasting with the seriousness of the situation. His fragmented account offered little detail, speaking of loud noises and heat, yet his words carried unspoken depth. Navigating the conversation delicately, Officer James coaxed out more information from Lucas, mindful of the child's emotional state. Lucas's cryptic words hinted at shadows and hidden truths, leaving Officer James to decipher their meaning. Each statement added complexity to the puzzle, invoking a sense of unease as Officer James grappled with the daunting task of unraveling the mystery surrounding the tragic events. As Lucas spoke, his mother's distress intensified, reflecting the confusion and fear stirred by his enigmatic revelations. She struggled to reconcile her maternal instinct to protect with the need to comprehend the unfolding mystery. Meanwhile, Officer James contemplated Lucas's cryptic words, searching for hidden meanings within them shadows hiding. Loud noises, he murmured, trying to decipher their significance. Were these the confused perceptions of a frightened child, or did they hint at something deeper? Each phrase, though enigmatic, held potential clues to unraveling the truth of the incident. Observing the mother's reactions, Officer James detected subtle undercurrents in her responses. Was her distress solely concerned for her son, or did it conceal a deeper fear, perhaps of confronting an unsettling truth. Finally, the awaited forensic report arrived, yielding a significant breakthrough. It confirmed the fire as intentional and identified a fireproof safe in the living room, suggesting arson to both destroy and conceal. Notably, fingerprints on the remnants of the safe were identified as belonging to Lucas's father, a damning revelation linking him to the scene before the fire. This discovery marked a critical turning point in the investigation, indicating premeditation and casting a troubling shadow over the case. Grasping the implications, Officer James recognized the investigation's ominous shift towards deliberate arson. The direct link to Lucas's father altered the investigation's trajectory dramatically, prompting a nationwide search effort coordinated by Officer James. With every passing hour, the urgency intensified, emphasizing the gravity of locating Lucas's father and unraveling the motives behind the arson. The search expanded beyond local boundaries, involving national and international law enforcement agencies in a concerted manhunt. Officer James worked tirelessly, realizing that the investigation had transcended a local tragedy, becoming a global pursuit with high stakes and far-reaching implications. Every moment felt like an eternity for Officer James as he raced to find Lucas's father before he could flee or cause more harm. The team worked tirelessly, pursuing every lead, the tension in the command center a constant reminder of the stakes. Despite mounting evidence, Lucas's mother insisted on her husband's innocence, her denial unwavering even as evidence piled up. The investigation honed in on the father's potential whereabouts, sifting through data to form a clearer picture. At the airport, Officer James and his team blended into the crowd, eyes scanning for their target. With boarding announcements sounding, tension peaked as Lucas's father appeared. The team swiftly detained him, his surprise palpable. The arrest was smooth, marking the culmination of their efforts as Lucas's father was taken into custody. The expression on the father's face was a complex tapestry of emotions, hinting at a yet untold narrative. With his arrest, a new chapter in the investigation unfolded, aimed at demystifying the situation. During their diligent search, authorities stumbled upon an array of fake IDs and documents bearing different aliases, painting a picture of a man deeply entangled in a web of deceit. The discovery of a storage unit, 
leased under an assumed name and filled with brand new personal items and furniture, hinted at the father's elaborate plans for an abrupt departure. This collection of belongings indicated a well-thought-out strategy for escaping his current existence. Further probing into the case unveiled receipts for large cash transactions and brochures for properties abroad, nestled among the counterfeit documents. These findings suggested a meticulous plan to disappear without a trace. Scrutiny of bank records and emails laid bare a complex network of lies and financial woes, stripping away the facade the father had so carefully constructed. In the confines of the interrogation room, under the watchful eye of Officer James, the father crumbled, admitting to igniting the fire as a desperate bid to counterfeit his own death and flee from his financial disasters. His confession peeled back layers of deception and desperation, exposing the depths of his despair. He revealed his unawareness of his son Lucas's presence in the house at the time of the fire, a revelation that plagued him with remorse. It emerged that Lucas had made an unplanned return home during a break, unknowingly walking into a perilous situation not meant for him. As the reality of Lucas's unintended involvement dawned on him, the father's visage was etched with shock and horror. Officer James detailed how Lucas, unbeknownst to anyone, had become an inadvertent victim of a scheme gone awry. Subsequently, Lucas's father, now a picture of sorrow, was formally charged and faced trial. The courtroom transformed into a stark battleground where his future hung in the balance. As he stood before the judge, the gravity of his deeds was unmistakable. Officer James, present in the courtroom, observed the legal proceedings unfold, marking the end of a rigorous investigation and the onset of justice being served. The trial progressed swiftly, propelled by the compelling evidence against Lucas's father. His own confession, supported by forensic evidence and the revelations of his double life, left little to the imagination. Witness testimonies and exhibits meticulously detailed the premeditated nature of his actions and the extent of his deceit. As the truth unraveled in the courtroom, the gavel fell, and Lucas's father was handed a substantial prison sentence. The verdict echoed through the courtroom, bringing closure to months of uncertainty and chaos. For Officer James, it was a moment of quiet satisfaction, the closure of a case that had challenged his perseverance and commitment. For Lucas and his mother, the verdict represented a painful yet crucial step towards healing and moving forward from the shadow of betrayal and deception. In the wake of the grueling trial, Lucas and his mother embarked on a profound journey of healing. Their lives, once fractured by profound tragedy and deep-seated betrayal, gradually started to weave back together. The support they received from their community and the guidance from counseling sessions played a crucial role in helping them navigate through the murky waters of grief and loss. The resilience they displayed, the sheer determination to rise from the ruins, served as a powerful testament to the unbreakable spirit inherent in those who face adversity head-on. As their story reached its conclusion, it was evident that Lucas and his mother were now looking forward to a future brimming with hope. Their journey, marked by moments of darkness that eventually led them back to the light, stood as a poignant reminder of the incredible power of resilience and the healing process. Walking hand in hand as they left the courthouse, it was unmistakably clear that they were on the precipice of a new chapter in their lives, a chapter characterized by hope, the potential for healing, and the promise of fresh starts. Their path forward, though born from a place of hardship, was now illuminated with the light of optimism and the possibility of renewal. After watching this story, what do you think of? Then there is an another story about a man adopt twins. Let's expect what will happen. Nestled within the vibrant pulse of the bustling town, Weston was a beloved figure known for his unwavering dedication as a single father who had bravely taken on the responsibility of adopting twin boys. His commitment was a source of admiration among the community, yet little did they realize that the pivotal moment in Weston's life would stem not from the adoption process, but from a profound discovery upon laying eyes on the twins' birth certificates. With trembling hands, Weston perused the document, and as he scanned the names listed under parents, a wave of revelation crashed over him, revealing a connection to Weston's own past that would forever alter his perspective. Reflecting back on the day he had completed the adoption process, Weston's heart swelled with joy, feeling as though the stars had aligned to bring Caleb and Jaden into his life. The anticipation of welcoming them into his home filled him with an indescribable sense of fulfillment. As time passed, Weston found himself immersed in the joy and love that emanated from his sons, 
their presence transforming his life in ways he never thought possible. The bond they shared was immeasurable, each day filled with laughter, adventure, and the warmth of familial love. Despite the blissful contentment Weston found in his role as a father, the thought of the twins' birth parents seldom crossed his mind. The adoption had been conducted with utmost confidentiality, and while Weston occasionally pondered the mystery of their origins, he accepted that some secrets were meant to remain veiled. He made a silent vow to broach the subject with Caleb and Jaden when they were older, opting to cherish the present and build cherished memories with his beloved boys. For Weston, the journey into fatherhood had been a long-awaited dream realized. While he had yearned for companionship on this path, fate had guided him towards parenthood as a solo adventurer. Embracing the support of his devoted family and friends, Weston found solace in their unwavering encouragement and the shared joy of witnessing Caleb and Jaden grow and flourish under his care. However, the tranquility of Weston's world was shattered when Jaden fell unexpectedly ill one fateful day. The frantic call from Mrs. Clara, Jaden's concerned teacher, sent Weston's heart racing with panic as he raced to his son's side. Arriving at the hospital, relief washed over him as he found Jaden receiving medical attention, though the cause of his illness remained a mystery. Faced with the challenge of Jaden's closed adoption, Weston embarked on a tireless quest to obtain crucial medical information to ensure his son's well-being. When Weston awaited the court's decision to access Jaden's birth certificate, each passing moment was fraught with anxiety, the uncertainty of Jaden's health weighing heavily on his mind. Yet, in the darkness of the night, Weston's unwavering love and determination shone brightly, a beacon of hope guiding him through the ordeal. Driven by his relentless devotion to his sons, Weston remained steadfast in his pursuit of answers, navigating the complexities of parenthood with unwavering resolve and boundless love. Immersed in the embrace of his devoted family and friends, Weston found solace and strength in their unwavering support, a lifeline that fueled his determination to navigate each day with renewed hope. The trials he faced taught him the invaluable lesson of patience, transforming his once turbulent anxiety into a steadfast anchor that guided him through the tumultuous waters of uncertainty. With bated breath, Weston awaited the court's decision regarding access to the twins' birth certificate, a document that held the potential to unveil a myriad of complexities and challenges. As the envelope containing the certificate finally arrived, a whirlwind of emotions engulfed Weston, mingling apprehension with hope casting a shadow of anticipation over the path that lay ahead. Despite his curiosity gnawing at him, Weston made the selfless choice to prioritize the twins' well-being, opting to safeguard their privacy above all else. This decision epitomized Weston's unwavering commitment as a father, rooted in a profound love that transcended genetic ties. Throughout a restless night plagued by internal debate, Weston remained resolute in his conviction that true fatherhood was defined not by bloodlines, but by the boundless depths of love and trust shared between parent and child. With the break of dawn, Weston embraced a renewed sense of purpose, fortified by the unwavering love he held for his sons. The sealed envelope entrusted to the hospital staff symbolized Weston's implicit trust in their expertise, his hope for Jaden's recovery unwavering in the face of uncertainty. As days turned into weeks, Weston stood unwavering by Jaden's bedside, a beacon of comfort and reassurance in the storm of uncertainty. Engaging with medical professionals, Weston sought understanding and advocated fiercely for his son's well-being, his resolve unyielding in the face of adversity. Throughout the ordeal, the bond shared between Weston, Caleb, and Jaden blossomed, a testament to their resilience and unity as a family. Surrounded by the unwavering support of the hospital staff and their community, Weston found solace in the power of kindness, even amidst the darkest of times. As the weight of anticipation hung heavy in the air, Weston's hope remained steadfast, anchored in the enduring love he held for his sons. With the birth certificate entrusted to the capable hands of the medical team, Weston placed his faith in their expertise, marking a pivotal juncture in their journey towards healing and understanding. And with the reassurance of confidentiality offered by the doctor, Weston found a glimmer of peace amidst the storm, a beacon of hope, illuminating the path forward. Weston's unwavering faith in the medical team provided a beacon of hope as he navigated through the uncertainties of his son Jaden's medical condition. With each update, he maintained a calm and steadfast presence by Jaden's side, embodying a pillar of strength amidst the storm of concerns. However, in the solitude of a moment with his son's birth certificate, 
Weston found himself overwhelmed by a flood of unanswered questions. His hands shook as he unfolded the document, and upon reading the mother's name, he was catapulted into a whirlwind of memories from a past he had tried to bury. This revelation shook him to his core, leaving him frozen as vivid memories of a long-forgotten love resurfaced, challenging everything he thought he knew about his family. As Weston struggled to come to terms with the fact that the twins' mother bore the same name as his high school sweetheart, a deluge of emotions engulfed him. The undeniable evidence in front of him deepened his disbelief and ignited a complex turmoil within him, prompting a re-evaluation of his understanding of family, identity, and love. Driven by a relentless desire for the truth, Weston embarked on a painstaking journey to unravel how the twins' mother's life had become so intricately intertwined with his own. Digging deeper, Weston discovered layers of her life he had never known, her struggles, her choices, and the path that led her to the adoption. His investigation unveiled the staggering truth, the twins' mother was indeed Anna, his high school love, whose life had diverged onto paths he could never have imagined. This revelation propelled Weston into a maelstrom of disbelief and determination to unearth the full extent of their connection. Stumbling upon the name of a father he didn't recognize only added fuel to his quest for answers, weaving an even more complex web of mysteries around the twins' birth. Weston vowed to cut through this bewildering discovery, driven by an insatiable need to piece together the narrative of his children's heritage and Anna's role in their lives. While he delved further, memories of Anna interwove with the new information he uncovered, painting a poignant picture of her life from the fragments left behind. Each discovery brought a bittersweet mix of pain and nostalgia, as he reminisced about their shared past while confronting the harsh realities of her concealed struggles. Weston's journey led him to the heart-wrenching truth about Anna's involvement in a surrogate arrangement, a decision born out of desperation and hope, meant to bring happiness to another couple. This revelation not only illuminated the existence of the twins but also unraveled the complexities of Anna's life, intertwining their destinies in ways Weston had never foreseen. He unearthed the story of Anna's surrogate agreement, a plan fraught with noble intentions yet marred by unforeseen tragedies and a cascade of secrets. This discovery did not just link their lives but also revealed the depth of sacrifice and love woven into the fabric of their shared history, offering Weston a path toward understanding and, ultimately, healing that I in a stunning revelation, Weston's world was shaken to its core, uncovering a previously hidden chapter of Anna's life that intricately linked their destinies through the birth of twins. The news of Anna's sudden passing in the wake of childbirth hit Weston like a tidal wave, encapsulating a narrative of her ultimate sacrifice and the loose ends it left behind. Yet, amidst the tragedy, a miraculous twist emerged, weaving the twins, Caleb and Jaden, into the fabric of his life. This bittersweet moment, although marred by grief, shone a beacon of hope, Anna's legacy was not to end with her demise but to live on through her sons. As Weston grappled with this profound loss, he began to see Caleb and Jaden in an entirely new light. They were no longer just his children, they became the embodiment of Anna, a tangible connection to the woman he had lost, mirroring her spirit in their joy and peculiarities. This realization fostered a deeper bond between Weston and the twins, uniting them in a complex tapestry of love, memories, and a shared narrative that was distinctively their own. Fueled by this newfound understanding, Weston committed to nurturing Anna's memory within Caleb and Jaden. He envisioned a future where her tale was not just recounted but celebrated, ensuring her spirit remained an active part of their lives. This pledge marked the beginning of a rejuvenated journey, one where Anna's influence was openly recognized and cherished in their collective day-to-day -day existence. Weston's path led him to a profound epiphany about the essence of family. He learned that family transcends biological ties, it is a haven founded on unconditional love, shared experiences, and the silent connections that intricately bind lives together. Embracing this expansive view of family, Weston, Caleb, and Jaden forged ahead, united by a resilient bond of love and the enduring legacy of a remarkable woman whose life had serendipitously brought them together. Amidst this journey of discovery and healing, a glimmer of hope emerged with the diagnosis of Jaden's illness. Once a looming threat to their collective happiness, it was now identified as manageable with proper care, promising a life not marred by limitations but full of potential and joy. 
This revelation alleviated a heavy burden from Weston's shoulders, reaffirming his belief in their ability to overcome any obstacle and flourish as a family, intertwined by love and the strength of their shared resilience. If this narrative has touched your heart and stirred your emotions as deeply as it has ours, we invite you to delve further into such compelling stories. One such tale involves a priest who, upon hearing a homeless woman's confession, is confronted with a shocking revelation about her identity. Click here to explore the full story and immerse yourself in the profound impact of unexpected connections and the power of human compassion. After watching this story, what do you think of? Then there is an another story about twins. Let's expect what will happen. Jacob's heart was heavy with doubt as he mulled over the possibility that there could be a shred of truth in what he had been told. Could there really be a resemblance, or was it merely a tale spun out of thin air? The unease bubbled up within him, prompting an urgent search through the relics of his family's past. He was desperate for confirmation, to dispel the shadows of deceit that may have lingered from years past. Was it conceivable that his wife had woven a web of lies all this time? Amidst the clutter and memories, Jacob unearthed the very scrapbook he sought, a repository that might either soothe or amplify his fears. The scrapbook, long forgotten, was cloaked in a layer of dust so thick it spoke volumes of its neglect. With careful hands, Jacob wiped away the years, opening the pages to a past he thought he knew well. It was there, among the familiar faces, that he stumbled upon images of a baby girl, her presence previously overlooked. Questions swirled in his mind as he scrutinized his wife's explanations with newfound skepticism. Was the girl in the photographs truly his niece, or was there more to the story? The revelation struck Jacob with the force of a thunderbolt, sending him collapsing to his knees, clutching at his heart. If his suspicions bore fruit, it meant that a sinister secret had been festering under his roof, casting a long shadow over their lives. The veil of ignorance was lifted, revealing a truth so stark it threatened to tear his world apart. Emotions surged within him as he grappled with the reality of the situation, the weight of what he uncovered nearly overwhelming. With resolve stealing his heart, Jacob reached for his phone, dialing the one person who could shed light on the darkness, his brother. This call was far from a casual chat, it was a plea for clarity, a search for answers amidst the turmoil. The conversation that followed left Jacob with few options, his mind swirling with considerations he never imagined he'd entertain. Divorce loomed on the horizon, a path he was reluctant to take without first uncovering the whole truth. He implored his wife for honesty, for an unvarnished account of the events that had led them to this precipice. What he did not anticipate was her reaction. Confronted with the enormity of her actions, she broke down, her tears a silent plea for forgiveness. But how could Jacob move past such a betrayal? At his core, Jacob was a simple man, cherishing nothing more than the love and well-being of his family. His wife and daughter were his sanctuary, the pillars upon which his happiness was built. Yet, in a twist of fate, the foundation of his world began to crumble. Lily, his precious ten-year-old daughter, was the light of his life. Her recent struggles with bullying had prompted a change of schools, a decision Jacob made without hesitation, hopeful for a fresh start for Lily. Little did he know, this new beginning would bring with it revelations that would challenge the very essence of their family. Lily, the new girl at school, found herself navigating unfamiliar territory, both in terms of people and places. However, her transition was made smoother by the kindness of one girl in particular who took it upon herself to lend a helping hand. This girl, Becky, seemed to have an inexplicable pull on Lily, drawing her in with a magnetic force that Jacob, Lily's father, couldn't quite comprehend at the time. Little did he know, Lily's connection with Becky held secrets that would soon unravel his understanding of the world. As Lily began to mention Becky more frequently, Jacob couldn't help but feel grateful that his daughter had found a friend to guide her through the intricacies of her new school. It was comforting to know that Lily wasn't navigating the challenges of a new environment alone. However, as weeks passed and Lily's admiration for Becky only seemed to grow stronger, Jacob couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to their bond than met the eye. During a routine dinner conversation, Lily dropped a bombshell that sent shockwaves through Jacob's understanding of the situation. Nonchalantly, she mentioned that Becky was, just like me in every way, a statement that initially seemed innocuous. However, Lily's next revelation left Jacob reeling, 
she and Becky looked identical. It was a detail that Lily seemed to brush off, but for Jacob, it was a revelation that opened a Pandora's box of questions and uncertainties. Suddenly, Jacob found himself grappling with the realization that his daughter had formed an inexplicable bond with someone who bore an uncanny resemblance to her. Without the convenience of modern technology to see a picture of Becky, Jacob was left to wonder and speculate about the nature of Lily's friendship. His curiosity was piqued, and he couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to Becky than met the eye. Anticipation and apprehension mingled as Jacob awaited the opportunity to meet Becky in person, hoping to unravel the mystery surrounding his daughter's newfound friend. Little did he know, the encounter would shatter his understanding of reality, leaving him to confront a truth he never could have imagined. During a casual conversation, Lily excitedly asked her father if she could invite her new best friend over for a play date. Without giving it much thought, her father agreed, unaware that this decision would dramatically alter the course of his life. He consented to the idea, neglecting to consult his wife, Lisa, about it. Little did he know, Lisa was harboring a secret that was about to surface. The following week, Lily's friend Becky came over. Upon picking her up from school alongside Lily, he was struck by their remarkable resemblance. The similarities in their appearance, mannerisms, and even personalities were astonishing. It was as though he was looking at two versions of his daughter. This striking resemblance made Jacob question the situation, especially when he saw a familiar car pick Becky up later that day. He had seen that car somewhere before, but he couldn't immediately place it. Determined to uncover the truth, Jacob realized he would need to investigate discreetly, though he feared his inquiries might reveal painful truths. Haunted by the uncanny resemblance between the two girls, a forgotten memory suddenly resurfaced. Jacob remembered encountering Becky several years ago. Driven by a need to confirm his suspicions, he frantically searched through an old drawer in his living room, sifting through dusty photographs and memories until he found a water-damaged photo that confirmed his worst fears. Upon discovering the photo, Jacob's world crumbled. The realization that his marriage was built on a foundation of deceit was devastating. He had always sympathized with others who found themselves in similar situations, never imagining he would one day be in their shoes. Overwhelmed by betrayal, he sat motionless, reflecting on his life and trying to pinpoint any signs he might have missed. Jacob and Lisa's journey to parenthood had been fraught with challenges. Like many couples, they had dreamt of a large, happy family. Initially, they had hoped to have three children, but their struggle to conceive had tested their relationship. Now, faced with this heartbreaking discovery, Jacob had to confront the reality that his family, and the future he envisioned, would never be the same. A family with three children, consisting of one boy and two girls, shares a dynamic and diverse environment. Each child brings their own unique personality and interests into the mix, creating a vibrant household filled with a variety of activities, from sports and outdoor adventures to creative arts and reading. The boy, possibly the eldest, middle, or youngest, might have a keen interest in exploring the world around him, showing a particular fascination with science or sports. He could be the protector of his sisters, sharing special bonds with each of them through different activities and interests. The two girls, each with their distinct characters, add more color to the family dynamics. The older girl might be passionate about the arts, spending her time painting, dancing, or engaging in drama, sharing her love for creativity with her siblings. The younger girl, perhaps, is the adventurer of the family, always eager to embark on new outdoor escapades, from hiking to biking, bringing everyone along for the journey. Together, these three siblings navigate the ups and downs of growing up, learning from each other and building a strong, unbreakable bond. Their parents cherish the individuality of each child, encouraging them to pursue their passions while fostering a sense of unity and support. Among them, this family, with its one boy and two girls, exemplifies the beauty of diversity within a household, creating a rich tapestry of experiences that shape their lives in unique and meaningful ways. Jacob and his wife, Lisa, had long harbored the dream of starting a family that would ideally begin with twins and be later joined by a little girl. However, the path to parenthood proved more complicated and heart-wrenching than they had anticipated. After years of unsuccessful attempts to conceive, they sought medical advice, hoping for solutions but bracing for challenges. The diagnosis they received was disheartening. 
Jacob was confronted with the reality that he had a reproductive issue that significantly hindered their chances of natural conception. This revelation was a profound blow to Jacob's self-esteem and his identity as a partner. He felt a deep sense of failure and inadequacy, unable to meet his wife's gaze. However, Lisa's unwavering support and reassurance were a beacon of hope in his sea of despair. She confidently believed that they would become parents within the year, a notion that Jacob initially dismissed as wishful thinking. As the months passed, Lisa's inexplicable confidence in their impending parenthood puzzled Jacob, especially when she hinted at a biological child rather than adoption. Then, against all odds, Lisa began exhibiting signs of pregnancy. Jacob, skeptical yet hopeful, acquired a pregnancy test, which confirmed the unexpected yet joyous news, Lisa was pregnant. The confirmation of Lisa's pregnancy was a bewildering moment for Jacob, especially considering his diagnosis. They returned to the same doctor who had previously delivered the grim news, seeking answers. The doctor, who seemed unsurprised by the pregnancy, hinted that while Jacob's chances of conceiving were slim, they were not non-existent. This revelation, coupled with the doctor's mysterious familiarity with Lisa, raised suspicions in Jacob's mind. However, he chose not to dwell on these doubts, focusing instead on the happiness that the pregnancy brought to his wife. Jacob resolved to support Lisa throughout the pregnancy, putting aside his concerns and suspicions. He planned to request a paternity test after the baby's birth, not out of distrust for Lisa but as a means of seeking closure for his own peace of mind. Despite the lingering questions and the unconventional path to parenthood, Jacob's primary focus remained on nurturing and caring for Lisa and their unborn child, embracing the unexpected gift of fatherhood with an open heart. Ten years had passed since the revelation of Lily's uncanny resemblance to another girl, a discovery that had shaken Jacob to his core. Life had continued on its course, with Jacob and Lisa embracing the joys and challenges of parenthood as they nurtured Lily through her formative years. Yet, beneath the surface of their seemingly idyllic family life, a lingering doubt gnawed at Jacob's mind, fueling his need for answers. As Lisa's pregnancy progressed, Jacob stood by her side, a pillar of support and love as they eagerly anticipated the arrival of their second child. The tender moments shared during those nine months only deepened Jacob's affection for his growing family. When the time came for the delivery, Jacob remained steadfast in the delivery room, his heart swelling with love and anticipation. The moment he held his newborn daughter in his arms, Jacob's world shifted once again. Taking the paternity test and receiving confirmation that he was indeed her father filled Jacob with a profound sense of gratitude and wonder. To him, Lily was a miracle, a precious gift that he cherished with every fiber of his being. Yet, as the years passed and their family grew, Jacob couldn't shake the nagging feeling that something was amiss. Despite multiple paternity tests reaffirming Lily's lineage, Jacob couldn't shake the feeling of doubt that lingered in the back of his mind. When he sat with the photo album in his lap, tracing the features of his beloved daughter's face, Jacob couldn't help but wonder about the striking resemblance between Lily and the mysterious girl from years ago. The similarities were undeniable, prompting Jacob to question the foundations of his married life. Fueled by a growing sense of unease, Jacob embarked on a quest for answers, determined to uncover the truth hidden beneath layers of uncertainty. His search led him to contact Lily's teacher, seeking confirmation of the similarities between the two girls. When the class photo arrived, Jacob's heart skipped a beat as he compared it to the one he held in his possession. The revelation was both shocking and validating. The two girls, separated by eight years, bore an uncanny resemblance that transcended time. In that moment, Jacob's suspicions were confirmed, and he finally recognized the identity of the mysterious girl from years ago. With a mix of disbelief and determination, Jacob knew that he had to confront the truth head-on. Gathering his resolve, he dialed the number, steeling himself for the confrontation that awaited him. It was time to confront the past and uncover the secrets that had haunted him for so long. Jacob grappled with the overwhelming flood of emotions that surged within him as he contemplated the unsettling truths he had uncovered. Confronting Lisa immediately seemed premature, he needed to gather more information before broaching such a delicate subject. Turning to his brother Mark, a trusted confidant and lawyer, seemed like the most sensible course of action. 
After all, Mark was not only family but also someone Jacob could rely on for sound advice. As he dialed Mark's number, Jacob's heart raced with anticipation, knowing that this conversation could change everything. Mark's concern was palpable from the moment he answered the call, sensing the gravity of Jacob's inquiry about divorce. However, Jacob's true motive lay beneath the surface, a calculated strategy to gauge Mark's reaction and elicit crucial insights. With each carefully chosen word, Jacob painted a picture of his turmoil, subtly leading Mark to the heart of the matter. The revelation of a girl resembling Lily unearthed deep-seated doubts about Lisa's fidelity, prompting Jacob to seek his brother's perspective on the matter. Mark's reassurances initially soothed Jacob's suspicions, but beneath the surface, tension simmered, ready to erupt with the unveiling of the truth. Jacob's revelation about Becky's identity sent shockwaves through the conversation, shattering the facade of familial trust and unraveling a web of deceit that had remained concealed for a decade. While Mark's voice wavered over the phone, Jacob listened intently, absorbing the weight of his brother's confession. The revelation of Lisa's secret pact with Mark to conceive a child through in vitro fertilization cast a new light on the situation, reshaping Jacob's understanding of the events that had unfolded. With clarity dawning upon him, Jacob realized the extent of his misjudgment and the unwavering loyalty of his wife. Lisa's actions, far from betraying him, had been driven by compassion and a desire to help her brother-in-law fulfill his dream of fatherhood. In the aftermath of this revelation, Jacob's anger and resentment dissipated, replaced by a profound sense of gratitude and humility. The bond between brothers, tested by adversity, emerged stronger than ever, tempered by honesty and forgiveness. In that moment of reckoning, Jacob found solace in the realization that love and trust could withstand even the most profound challenges, binding their family together in a newfound unity forged from the crucible of truth. That's all about our story, if you like this story, please like and subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next story.